वेलकम बिग आई सो टुडे लेट मी टेल यू द टेन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स यू शुड नो बिफोर ग्रेटिंग वर्ड फॉर वेबसाइट लेट मी नो इन कमेंट्स हाउ मेनी यू ऑलरेडी न्यू एंड विच आर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स फॉर यू वेन यू ग्रेट ए वेबसाइट एंड इन दैन आई विल गिव बोनस टिप ऑन द टॉप ऑफ दिस टेन थिंग्स एंड लेट मी नो इन कमेंट्स इफ आई मिस समथिंग अफ यू वॉन्ट टू एड समथिंग यूजफुल एंड हेल्प द कम्युनिटी सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज कस्टमाइजेशन सो वर्ड वर्ड इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कस्टमाइज सी एम एस आउट देर इफ यू कंपेयर विद शॉपिफाई वेक्स स्क्वायर स्पेस वेब फ्लो एन इज सी एम एस is the most customizable one because install wordpress on your server so you have access to all the files so you can customize anything what you want where in other cms like shopify wix webflow squares so you do not have this feature to customize everything second thing is security to keep wordpress safe you need a security plugin where in other cms like webflow shopify wix squarespace the team handle themselves the security of the website but in wordpress you can install a plugin like wordfence and you can add cloud on the top to get the maximum security of your website If you want to watch the detailed video on these two topics, check the description of this video. The third thing, SEO. I heard a lot of people say WordPress is not good for SEO. This is not true, because I want to say that your SEO depends totally on content on your website and structure and organization of your website. If your website got high quality content and your website is organized and menus are well placed, your website will really rank higher on search engines, no matter which CMS do you use. Fourth thing, drag and drop builder. lot of people say you cannot create wordpress using drag and drop builder that is little bit true but not completely true wordpress comes with the default block editor which is not very easy to use in comparison to other page builder like wix webflow squarespace they comes with a very mature page builder and by using those pages you can create website easily but in wordpress you can install a free plugin like elementor page builder beaver builder db builder or wp bakery builder and you can have similar experience like these page builders and you can create your complete website using drag and drop but there a lot of options come with this page builder sometimes become complicated so i'll say drag and drop builder is better than the other cms instead of wordpress the fifth thing is pricing so wordpress is a free cms anybody can download it and use it to create website but to present this website on the internet to put this website in front of people you need a domain name and hosting and depending on your budget you can buy a domain name from few dollars per year and the hosting from couple of dollars per month and when you compare the price of wordpress with these other page builders they comes with recurring payments every month so wordpress is a little bit cheaper than all these other cms and guys if you are really enjoying this video don't forget to like the video and share with someone who is learning web development and if you don't want to miss such amazing content which you will not find easily on youtube don't forget to subscribe the channel because website creation is not about only design it can do a lot of things your page speed your security i got a whole series on core web vitals so if you want to watch such amazing content i highly recommend you subscribe to the channel six thing the time to create a website so in wordpress or any other page builder you got lot of templates already available in wordpress you can install starter template and you can have all these professional beautiful designs you can directly import within few minutes and you can edit them and put your own content and you can create a beautiful website in very small time where in other page builder you also got lot of beautiful professional designs ready made you can use those also but in wordpress you have so many free designs you can use in other page builder they already come with a per month price and sometimes to buy the theme for the page builder they comes a really high price wordpress also you can buy premium themes but in wordpress repository there are so many free templates available so that you do not need to create a website from scratch the seventh thing is maintenance so wordpress is a little bit hard to maintain all the time you receive updates for plugin themes and wordpress to keep your website updated and this is really important for your wordpress security to keep all these things updated all the time so you end up updating your website every day or every month i highly recommend you to update your website whenever there's a new update but still if you update your website once a week that's a safe choice where in other cms like shopify webflow squarespace you do not need to worry about updates there's a team behind which does all the updates for you but with wordpress the benefit of this thing is when you update you get the access to new features and new security fixes so eighth thing is plugins wordpress is a large repository of plugins that can be used to add new features and functionality to your website and almost no matter what you want to achieve there is a plugin already made for this where in this other cms you have to buy plugin sometime or you need to pay more money to have this functionality even then there's not a lot of choices in these other cmss where in wordpress we have thousands of plugins to do so many of things but be mindful of the plugin issues the more plugin installed the website will be heavier and your speed will be low so talking about page speed the ninth point is page speed of wordpress website so site speed is important for user experience and search engine optimization You need to choose a hosting provider which has very high speed for your website. On the top of that, depending on the data on your website, you need to optimize your website. Where in this other CMS, your website is generally fast. But when you talk about page speed scores, WordPress has a lot of flexibility to achieve high scores on Google Page Speed. Where with this other CMS, we do not have so much flexibility to achieve so high scores. We have to live what we get. I remember a few times back, I used to optimize Shopify websites, and there was always a pain to optimize Shopify website. 
But in WordPress, it is really easy to use some plugins, have a good hosting, and you can have really high scores on Google PageSpeed. If you want to know what hosting I use, and which will not break your bank and give you very high speed, check out the description of this video. The 10th thing is backups. By default, WordPress do not have a backup system. Depending on your host, that might have a backup daily or weekly. But with other CMS like Shopify, Wix, Webflow or Squarespace, you have regular backups. But in WordPress, you can install a free plugin and you can also manage free version of Manage WP and you can have your weekly updates or your everyday updates or updates every 12 hours. So these are the 10 important tips. Now comes the bonus tip. Okay, let's talk about community of WordPress and support. So WordPress do not have any official support. Yes, we have a forum. You can go there and you can post your queries. And there are a lot of people who work very closely with the WordPress team. They can reply to you. There are forums for themes and plugins. When you post something there, a lot of people are going to help you. Sometimes there's official support from these theme and plugin providers. But all these other CMS, they got dedicated support. But you pay price for that also. If you want to watch such amazing content, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because you will not find such amazing content anywhere else on YouTube. And if you want to make your website security bulletproof, check out this video on screen. And if you want to know how I achieve 100 out of 100 scores for Google PageSpeed, check out this video on screen.